Welcome back everybody, Harry here, known as Trade Shop, and uh, should you sell your Bitcoin? That is the question. And uh, yeah, we've been talking about this for a few days guys, that the possibility to come back down to these levels looks likely, you know, and uh, now that it's happened, everyone's scared, you know, Elon Musk, all his fault apparently, and uh, you know, one person should not be able to crash the whole ecosystem of Bitcoin, and if that's how you're thinking, you should really 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 think you know am, am i doing the right thing by becoming an investor right so you know maybe maybe just you know think that to yourself and see if you are doing the right thing if you can't handle you know just one individual with market manipulation power but uh, not mass power right he never said anyways we won't get into that to be honest because that's just it's a bit silly and it just you know i'm not too happy with it and I don't think that, you know, he can hurt a lot of people, to be honest. That's what I'm kind of saying. So, you know, he might be on the old stuff again, but we'll have to see. But what I was saying here is if you look, guys, you know, on the daily, yes, we've broken our structure very aggressively here. But we're still, you know, essentially what I said, remove everything here. What is this? One massive range. This is your massive range. And, you know, the bottom side of the range is basically this 49,000 to be honest, but you could push it, you could push it, you know, weekly will be a lot clearer to be honest. And weekly is telling me, you know, Harry, keep the 49,000, but you can push it to that 45,000. And if I do see price break below 45,000, then this is going to be a massive issue. But this 49,000 is gonna be like the warning. I mean, a few more wicks down here to that 45,000, I think it's very possible, but any closures below, we're in a big, big, big trouble, to be honest. So that 45,000 is a massive pivot for us, right? And essentially, going back to the daily, we're in a massive range. And remember what I've been telling you about the three-day guys. You guys haven't been listening, and you're all fudding and all being scared. And I've been showing you this for a very, very, very long time. And now that my analysis played out, uh, you guys are scared. Remember I said... We have to come down and meet this trend line perfectly. I said, how perfect would that be? Well, guess what? It's playing out, guys. Look, one touch, two touch, and these were all major, major buying opportunities. Came up, I said, this is not a test. We came up, we started curling, and I said, be ready, guys. This is the chance where we might come down to 45,000 to test this properly, right? And then, boom, bounce out from there. And this will be huge opportunity in my, so no, I don't think you should be selling your Bitcoin. I, I think, uh, you know, that's not financial advice. Of course, you can do what you want. But, uh, you know, I think until this $45,000 level is broken, I'm personally not going to be looking for a macro reversal. All right. So we can obviously see that, you know, momentum is turned down on all time frames here. You can see weekly momentum and weekly check this out right look at this a very aggressive trend line also coming in on the weekly all of this regression which has been broken now which is quite interesting to see to be honest but that's just telling us we're looking for a deep deeper reversal so that's interesting to me but i really put a lot of weight on the three day because the three day has got those macro sideways and then the the big moves after it and you know if you want we can go over it again and you can see on the three day and we'll go to blx here you can see that 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 three day got this low right here it got this low right here and it seems like it might get the next low right so i definitely do think that the three day does hold a lot of importance here and that's what i'm weighing off if we were to bring out also some easy nice uh you know we can see we tapped here on the on the three day the 50 moving average which we can see in the past every time we've tapped the 50 moving average on the three day has been major opportunities right uh if we go on a on a chart that has a little bit more data we can see that the the 50 being tapped on the three day normally catches all of those bottom wicks right wick wick caught this wick here caught this wick here and you know you can back test this yourself and if we go to a weekly time frame, right, and being on a weekly time frame, uh, then the 21 catches. So we have confluence with the 50 moving average, right? And then now if you want to go on the weekly time frame, we also do have confluence 
on the the 21 moving average right so in the past the 21 has also on the weekly time frame has been a good closing closing basis area right so to catch all the closures we can see closure court closure court great buying opportunity closure court closure court you see and you know until we broke below then it was only an issue right when we broke below up here and then had a bull trap and then came down so looking where we are now in current price we've never tested it first of all and second of all we've just come down to tap it right so coming down and with this rising up because i do think it will take some time maybe another two to three weeks in this area because we are in a range this will start to to rise and probably come where to that forty nine thousand, or maybe just where we are here right but i really want to see a weekly closure above the 49 that would give me a lot of confidence so you guys just have to pray that bitcoin chills around this area in this range here couple more wicks scare some more people out come down here you know if we're looking at very short time frames now you know let's have a look at the shorter time frames bring back my drawings you know and yep there we go so yeah we we are tapping that area now getting a bounce small rejection here on the one hour that might be evident so yeah we're catching that rejection very nicely here so i do expect it actually to go a bit sideways but the one hour implies some continuation i think we can get a nice you know eventually an a bounce here probably back up 52000 53000 and then i do think we roll over probably play out a few wicks now let me get on to ethereum right so ethereum on the other hand here on the on the daily weird wick formation there's some trading view error but ethereum still looks good to be honest yes but we're just retesting that that level down here that i said was a major opportunity retest that and now getting bought back up you know weekly on the other hand looking fine uh there's some problem with the charts here you can see that pretty clear four hour on the other hand uh i think this should be up here i'm not sure why that happened some liquidity problem let's see if that's relevant on other charts you can see this right guys is that we have a clear pivot here and until we close if we do close below i do think we get another move all the way back down to here and probably comes side to side with bitcoin but i do think ethereum does have that one last push probably with the bounce and then i think we get to the high level levels and then play out a, a pullback but ethereum i don't feel too confident about at the moment at the current positioning you know looking at momentum on on lower time frames we are you know coming down there's still more extension daily momentum you know yeah if daily momentum can curl up from this zone these are this is a very clear signal uh, which is bouncing off the critical zone like this so if it can get that bounce then i do think we have a continuation and probably get up you know one last push before playing a major pullback uh old coins are bouncing along uh you know across the board here we're getting a good old coin bounce that really was an opportunity for the olds in my opinion and uh, yeah to wrap all of this up you know my thoughts is that i think this is needed guys you know the legit projects have really been lacking because people have just been you know taking crypto for granted and think it's some gambling tool and they're throwing money blindly and hoping that they make more well that is great to make money but at the end of the day you know it's like you guys have to understand that this is long term and you know the people who believe in crypto and who work hard in the crypto space trying to develop ecosystems you know this is not helping right and uh, what we have to do is we have to you know i think that this shakeout should get rid of them because they're not going to understand this for me this is not worrying at all you know if we start closing below 45 yeah okay fine i'm gonna be like this is a bit questionable but you know these people need to understand either to be in the legit projects which you can see a recovery like injective protocol up 19 percent you can see all of these projects you know across the board that i just have list listed here right you know they're all up you know look at this look at you know uni look at uh, super all of these projects they're all up across the board but i wonder about these crap coins you know it's like they recover together with the market because they people see it as an opportunity long term you know like look at kusama recently right kusama has been crazy right i mean this thing has been going berserk right back up at all time highs huge candle here so you know just to keep that in mind that i hope that this is changing the market back to the old season and then we play out two weeks the olds get one push ethereum gets that one more push up to 4800 uh, probably around that area 
and then you know it, those things chill down bitcoin takes one last push to the upside probably brings us to the 70,000 80,000 probably we we could see a six figure bitcoin it's not that far off to be honest and then bitcoin has a major pullback goes sideways for two months and we have the old coin season of you know history right so and then that's the end of the bull run i mean look at bitcoin dominance way down there way 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 down there so we'll see what happens i'll keep you updated with that being said take care trade up and until next